And hello, hello again, my beautiful water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Thank you for tuning in to another tea, another tea, another episode of Tea and Tarot with Tanya. This is a general read, so it may or may not resonate with you. Take what does, leave what doesn't. You guys already know about the airplanes, please forgive it. And they're cutting down trees outside, so you might hear some weird ass buzzing too. Um, I don't own any rights to the music playing in the background. Also, thank you for uh, tuning in. For those who are returning, welcome, welcome back. For those who are new here, welcome, welcome here. I'm so, so sorry, guys, that you guys' video is so, so late. Please forgive me. Understand that at the end of the week, when I was supposed to do you guys' video Thursday and Friday, I got super booked out of nowhere. I had two events over the weekend, so I was unable to do it over the weekend. And then yesterday, I was just tired. You know, it takes a lot of energy um, to do these readings. So I just took yesterday to rejuvenate, to get back on my feet. So I'm trying to catch up, pick everybody's videos that didn't get theirs. You guys, um, you guys are the last element. Sorry. Pisces, you guys have a bonus uh video that's going to come out. I think I'll record that after this. It, it's going to get recorded, okay? <laughs> Sometime between uh, the next two days, it should be up. I'm trying to, I'm just doing back and back until I catch up you guys, okay? Um, Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, you guys, so the video can circulate so you guys can be in the running for the element bonus. And don't forget to drop your sign down in the description box so you can get a bonus read. Pisces, you guys Hey, you guys been coming in. You guys always make sure you, you leave y'all names. Y'all want y'all personals. And I ain't mad because I'm Pisces, so I don't mind doing them. Um, Scorpio and Cancer, if you guys would like a personal read, just drop your con um, drop your sign down in the comments, and I'll do a personal for you guys. That's the only way I'm doing personals now if they're requested. Um, if not, we'll just keep continue to do the elements. And if you guys would like a bonus element read, get the views up. Get the views up. Okay, is there anything else? Oh, um, as we get closer to the new year, I'm going to start talking about some new things I have coming up. If you guys live, live here in Vegas or you're coming to visit Vegas, I will be doing live in-person readings on Sundays starting after the first of the year at Nourish Wellness Center. Um, as we get closer to that, I'll be leaving the information for that down in the description box. So if you ever come to Vegas and you want to have a live, you know, in-face reading with me, hit me up, let me know. We can set something up. Until then, don't forget to book your personals. <laughs> Leave me an email. That's all telephone and live video. And thank you guys for those who have donated. And for those who would like to donate, even though you, if you can't. It's all greatly appreciated. Okay. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's from my Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, all placements. Okay, you guys, cross watchers, you are welcome as well. Understand that energy is fluid, so feel free to switch the roles. Um, if I say he or she, I'm not actually speaking about because there's no gender or actual male or, or female. I ain't speaking about masculine and feminine energy. Put yourself where you go in the story, okay, you guys? Um, just looking at the bottom with this death and rebirth, I feel like you guys are closing out old cycles and you're going to start some new things. You, you feel like when you, when this end of this year closes out, you're leaving a lot of bullshit here, okay? You're not taking it into 2021 with you. And that's good, okay, my wonderful water signs. So let's see here. What we have for my Pisces, Cancers, and Scorpio spirit? What do they need to know for their greatest and highest good for the second half of December? I need them to jump. My Pisces, Cancer, Scorpios. What do they need to know for their greatest and highest good? I'm, I'm concentrating on your love life, but it could be anything, you guys. It could be finances, career. Okay, spirit. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, I mean, I need them to jump all the way out, spirit. What do the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpios need to know? One more, spirit. Cancer, Pisces. Thank you. Okay. So the first card we have for you guys is this Knight of Swords here. We have the Strength card. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Page of Swords. And we have the Empress here. Okay, my wonderful water signs. Oh, shit. We have the Five of Wands that was flipped over inside the deck in reverse, okay? 
So we're gonna take it because it was already flipped over. Um, uh oh, I'll let you guys see it. The five of wands away first. Okay. So what I'm seeing here, there is someone that wants to come in and, and speak some truths here, and they're coming in quickly. Okay. I feel like they're getting the strength to come forward after you walked away. I feel like they have been watching you and spying on you, watching your, your social media sites. Um, they could possibly be driving by, past your house, talking about you to other people. Um, but but their mind is constantly on you, okay? Um, they feel... They, they see you in this empress energy here. They see that you as someone that's loving, nurturing, caring. Someone that gives birth to something new, okay? They could possibly even see you as... Um, being a wife or a mother figure here, okay? And they want to get past this confusion. And this is why they're coming in to have this conversation. They want to let down these burdens. They want to release the burdens. They want to let you know they're no longer in this confused state here. Okay, Spirit. Give me what, four more. Okay. Let me do this. Okay. In the past, they didn't take the leap forward. They didn't move forward. They didn't come towards you here, so you walked away. Now they realize that you're their wish fulfillment, that they wished upon a star for you now. They've been watching and hoping they can heal this situation. One more for that. Thank you. Let me give me two. Mm. Look at here. Well, there go your male counterpart, the divine couple. The emperor jumped out. But the Seven of Swords came out too here. So I feel like someone was lying, sneaky, deceptive here, okay? Um, and you walked away. They want to come back now and, and they want to speak some truths here. They found the strength to come forward. They've been just watching in the past. They do feel like they want something here with you. Could be, like I said, going to the next level in a relationship. But they have been stagnant. They they have let go of the confusion, but they're still not moving forward, okay? Um They're trying to get the strength up to come forth. They want to heal this situation, but they're unsure. They're unsure if you'll accept them back. The emperor, okay? Um, because of this past lying, cheating, stealing, deceptive ways here, okay? Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we have the nine of cups, which is wish fulfillment here. They feel like you're their wish fulfillment. Now they want to come back, but they're unsure if you're going to accept them back. Because of whatever this deception was, whether, whether it was cheating, lying, whether it was just not coming forth and stepping up, moving forward with you. There was a lot of confusion. Could have been a lot of people here in this situation. A lot of people in this person's ear. But I feel like they've released all the people. They're no longer in the confusion, but they're still afraid to, to move. They're, they could possibly be healing and just watching you while they're healing. But they're trying to get to emperor status here, okay? They're trying to match you. And they're trying to get past whatever this lying, cheating, deception was. The emperor could be healing from... Huh, look, it made me move. Your emperor could be healing from some type of lying, cheating, deception here, okay? With the seven of swords here. This is the liar, the cheater, the deceptive person here. They could have had someone in their energy that was lying, cheating, deceptive here. And they're trying to heal from that. And and they're no longer in the confusion, but they still haven't moved forward here. What's this Knight of Swords here for my Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What's the... Oh, okay. Someone is all up in their head, can't sleep, stressed out about making this choice, about coming forth. They see a future here with you. They see a future here with you. But they haven't moved forward yet. Or they're in their head about how to move forward. Because with this Knight of Swords, this is them coming in quickly. Or they want to come in quickly. They're trying to get the strength to come in. <laughs> they just stressed out all in their head. They need to get out their head. What's this strength spirit? Yeah, they want to come make this offer. Ace of Pentacles. They want a new beginning here. One more card for the strength and the Ace of Pentacles. 
Yeah, they feel like um, the Queen of Wands here in reverse. Um, they could possibly be angry. Feel you're angry. Um, bitter. Feel you're bitter. Either way, this person wants to come make the offer, but they're afraid of the reaction they're going to get when they come back. What's the thank you, Eight of Cups? Yeah, because they know that you know they put you in a third party situation. They know that you know that they walked away to somebody else. They didn't choose you. Now they want to come back with this offer. Okay, Spirit. Give me the rest of the story. Yeah. <clears throat> Look, we have the Eight of Cups clarifying the Eight of Cups. This person walked away to somebody else. They chose someone else here. They put you in a third party situation. And either you walked away or they walked away. But now someone is watching. Wanting to come back. They want to return. What's the page of swords? Yeah, someone wants to put an end to the past situation. And now they want to come in and offer their love. They're realizing that they're in love with you. Even though they possibly didn't show it. Also, you could have walked away because of a third-party situation and you put it into it because they weren't showing you any love. You walked away and you learned to love yourself. You, you nurtured yourself. You put that love that you weren't receiving from this person into yourself. Yeah, you chose not to take the leap of faith and you chose not to take the leap of faith forward with this person. One more for the interest in, in the fool in return. Yeah, but now this person wants to come and make this offer and give you the reward and recognition they didn't give you in the past. The Empress and the Fool in Reverse. Thank you. Either you or your person has took the time to heal, and now they want to come forward. They want to come forward um, and get away from the emotional turmoil and come forward and, and make, make the waters calm or move toward calmer waters here, okay? They know that they didn't take the leap of faith in the past. They know that you walked away because they didn't come forward in the past. You pulled back. You took your energy back. You, <laughs> yeah. You could have moved away from this emotional conflict and went to something calmer because you were not getting um, the love that you felt like you deserved. You weren't getting the love or the recognition that you deserved. And it had you stressed out. This person didn't choose you. But now this person, now they are in this stressed out situation here. What's this five of wands in reverse spirit? Yeah, the knight of wands, it came out in reverse. So this person no longer wants to be in and out just for sex. Okay, so this person could have been in and out. Even if it wasn't just for sex, this was just someone who was in and out. In and out. They could have possibly just been confused about what they wanted to do, what choices they wanted to make. And you walked away because they weren't making a choice. I feel like you walked away because they weren't making choice. They weren't moving forward. They were just staying stagnant. Okay? Um, now this person is no longer in this energy. This person is no longer just in a sexual or in and out place here. It's the five of wands spirit. In reverse. Five of wands in reverse with the knight of wands in reverse. Yeah, now this person wants to come and balance it out. Okay? They want to come and give you this new offer of love. Could possibly be even some type of token here. They want to give you reward and recognition. They want to give you what they didn't give you in the past. What's the fool in reverse here for my Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio? Yeah. This person released a third party situation. Okay. There's no longer a third party situation. They're no longer in this. Now they want to come balance it. What's the fool in reverse here? And, oh, 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 oh. Let's see. Huh. Look, now they want to come balance it. They want to come balance it. They want to come speak their truth. They want, they're want. they hoping that you let your guard down so you can hear them out. But they want to come speak their truth here. About having a new beginning. In the past, they weren't. It's the chariot in reverse clarified by the chariot upright. Okay? So this is past energy. They were afraid of this. They've done the work now. They've healed themselves from whatever this, this past energy was of this lying, deception, cheating person here. Okay? Um, and they're standing in their emperor status right now. And now they want to come forward with some truth and honesty here. 
and and they're coming quickly this could be a soulmate here too my yin yin yang um but this is closing out old cycle starting something new this is moving forward moving forward to healing look and the emperor at the bottom of the deck he coming y'all whether it's male or female the, the masculine energy is coming he is no longer stuck he is no longer in this stagnant place he is healing and ready to move forward now okay What's this star spirit? Thank you. The hermit. Yeah, he's no longer stuck. He's no longer withdrawn. He wants to move forward. He's in it. He's healing. He's coming out of hermit mode. He's no longer just in his own place of just hurt and stagnant. Look, he's healing his heart. He's no longer in this place of heartbreak. Now, mind you guys, I keep saying he... It's the masculine energy. Whether you are the female or the male, it's just the masculine energy. The masculine energy in this situation is no longer stuck in hermit mode. They are doing the work. They are healing their heart. Whatever this third-party situation was, whether it was with you or somebody in their past, that causes they are healing from the third-party situation, okay? No more heartbreak. Whether it's you healing from the third party situation, put yourself where you go in the story, okay? Someone is coming out of hermit mode and moving forward. They're healing. They're done with the liar cheating situation. They're healing from that, okay? Yeah. They're healing from the tower moment. Something came in and there was a big drastic change and someone is healing from this and they're moving forward, okay? They're no longer stuck to themselves. They're no longer in their head. They're moving forward. And I feel like this is the emperor. I didn't, he came through. He was at the bottom of the deck. The masculine energy. Look, he's no longer guarded and blocked. He has made some choices here. I feel like he's no longer, no longer <laughs> fighting. He's let down his guard. He's no longer fighting it. He's no longer fighting it. Yeah, he's no longer fighting it. That's what I'm hearing, okay? One more card spirit. Thank you. Uh-oh. Look, he's coming towards his wish fulfillment. He's no longer fighting the feeling or no longer fighting the fact that, that you are his wish fulfillment or you are the masculine's wish fulfillment, the masculine energy. Like I said, male, female, they're no longer fighting it, okay? They know what it is. And now they're coming. What's this seven of swords? They have healed themselves. Yeah, they release their self from any codependency. They have released any toxic energy. They are, they are, they are letting this go here. Okay, what's one more card for the Seven of Swords and the Devil? They are healing from the toxic. Yep, <laughs> they left that shit out in the cold. They walked away from whatever the toxic city. They walked away from whatever the toxic toxicity was. Okay, um, could have been a relationship. Could have been any type of addiction here. But they have released it. They have walked away from it. And they're coming towards their wish fulfillment. One more card for the devil and the five of pentacles. Yeah. They want a new passionate beginning here. Could have something to do with children too. With the page of wands here. But they want something creative and new. They're walking away from this toxic. And they're moving towards this. Um, their nine of cups. Their wish fulfillment. Something passionate and new here. What's the emperor spirit? Thank you. Um, They could have possibly not been using their intuition in the past. They could be releasing secrets here. No longer holding secrets. They're coming forth with honesty. One a new beginning here. But with the high priestess in reverse, when it's when it's when it's um upright, this is someone. Who is mysterious, has secrets, may not be telling everything. Um, this is also one who's very intuitive, very spiritual. I feel like your person is no longer secretive. They are no longer hiding their feelings here. They have been awakened and enlightened to how they feel. And they're coming forth. They're walking away from this toxic bullshit. And um, could even be walking away from children. But they're walking away from whatever this, this addictive, codependent, manipulative... Seven of Swords, cheating, lying, um, thief is energy is okay, and 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 they're releasing it. One more card for the high priestess in reverse, and yeah. So they came out sideways. So what's crossing it? What was crossing the chariot? Because they fell on top of the chariot. What was crossing this person from coming in the past was the fact that they still had a lot of choices and options, 
And they had to come speak their truth. They had to get the strength up to come be honest and tell you the truth. This is what was keeping them from coming. About being honest about whatever this, these, these options were. Whatever this situation here was. That's what held them up. But they're no longer hung up. They're coming in to speak their truth here. Can I get one more card for the High Priestess in Reverse and the Emperor Spirit? What's the High Priestess in Reverse? Thank you. Yeah. This person is in love with you. And they're coming. They could have possibly made the wrong choice in the past. But they're coming to make it right now. They love you. The Emperor loves you. The masculine energy loves the Empress. This is a divine couple. Um, I have the Emperor and the Empress here. The Lover's card here. Hold on. Let me grab the other one. Okay, so we have the Emperor and the Empress. We have the Lovers. We have the Chariot, which is about my soulmates, okay? And yin yin yang here. So this is a soulmate. This is a divine connection here. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Whether you're the Emperor or the Empress, this person's coming, okay? Um... Look, and at the bottom of the deck, there's the emperor again. He all up in here. He getting this shit together, okay? He's coming. I keep saying he, you guys, just because it's the masculine energy. And I'm going to stop saying that. Y'all already know. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. One final last message. What's going on? What do they need to know for the last two weeks? And they're coming quickly, you guys. This is, this is, I asked for the last two weeks of December. So this could be from the last two weeks, possibly to the first two weeks of January. If you're watching this at another time, just understand it's going to be within two to four weeks of the time that you're watching this because my videos are timeless. So whenever you see it, it is meant for you. And Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So just a two to four week time period, okay? Any final messages for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Ah, any final messages for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio? Any final messages for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio? Okay. Huh. Look at this. Looky here. Looky here. Okay. Um. So, we have the mature man. <laughs> the emperor has matured. He wants marriage here, okay? He's coming in with this unexpected income. He's coming in with this offer of marriage. I told you, this person wants you. He feels like you're the privileged lady. And he wants to come with this courthouse. He wants to come and balance off this situation. Bring it justice. Make it right. This looks really nice, you guys. So whoever your person is, whether it's a male or a female, this person has matured, okay? Um, and they have been really stressed out about coming back because they realized they didn't make the right choices in the past. They chose someone else besides you. Um, now this person wants to move away from this emotional turmoil that they're in and move to common water because now they see you as a husband or a wife material here. Um, they see you as being a, a mother or a father figure and they realize that, that, that you're there with fulfillment. Now they want to come back. And they're coming in quickly to try to heal this situation and balance out the injustice for this third party situation that they put you in. Um, they're hoping that you hear them out. They're hoping that you're not guarded when they come in to speak their truths here. Um, they are going to be honest. They're going to let down their guard and, and, and speak some truth here. And they're going to speak about whatever this codependent relationship is, whatever or whoever they walked away from, even if they walked away from children here. Um... They're coming to bring you balance and clarity. They could possibly even want to get married at the courthouse, okay? This is something they want to do quickly. They don't want to wait in a... Oh, hold on, guys. Okay, guys, so <laughs> there's marriage coming in here or long-term commitment. Someone wants to come back and they want to be committed to you here, okay? And I'm going to leave it here until next time, you guys. I'm so sorry for it taking so long, but I hope it was good information for you. My wonderful, wonderful water sign. Um, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Also, don't forget. Oh, look, I cannot talk. Don't forget. This is how your person's feeling. They're trying to get the right words. They're tongue tied right now. Um, don't forget to leave your sign down below if you want a, um, a bonus video for you guys. Okay. So I'm gonna get into the next videos and try to get them uploaded today. 
So Pisces, look out for your bonus. Um, I don't know if you guys have Sagittarius, Virgo, Sagittarius or Virgo in your charts, but those are the other two signs that also um, have bonus videos coming out. Also, if you have Earth in your chart, is it Earth? Yeah, Earth. They won the bonus for the um, element, so they'll have a bonus video coming out as well. Check those out. If you need me for a personal, my information is down below. If you'd like to leave me a donation, it's greatly appreciated. And until next time, love, light, and peace, my peeps.